Hello, this is Jen from Newton's Nook Designs, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable card using our Newton's Kite stamp set. This is our Newton's Kite stamp set. It includes Newton with the kite, and the words soaring by, with, and then you can either add sky high thanks, positive vibes, or birthday wishes from you. So first we need to stamp Newton so that we can color him. So I'm going to put him on a clear block. And this is Bristol paper because I'm going to be watercoloring today, but you can use watercolor paper as well if you prefer. Or if you want to color him with Copics, that works too. So let's get the image inked up. Now I'm using um, Gina K Amalgam ink because it's good for watercoloring. Um, but you can use your favorite ink. Archival ink would also work. And it doesn't matter if the image is centered because I'm going to be cutting it out. But you just want to make sure you get a good impression. So push evenly over the stamp since it's kind of a large one. There. Okay, next I'm going to be using Zig Clean Color uh, watercolor brush markers and I just have this little bottle with some water in it to color the kitty. So I'm going to start by doing the kite. Let me zoom in a little for you so you can see. All right so for the kite I'm using what is called red but it actually when you add water to it is a little bit more of a pinkish color. And with these, you kind of just color where you want the darkest spot to be. And then you can use the water to pull the color out. So depending on how dark you want it, you can add more or less water. So I just put a little water on my mat and I'm using a paintbrush. And because it's watercolor, I like watercolor because it doesn't have to be perfect. It's supposed to be kind of messy and loose. And you don't have to worry about making it perfect. So we're gonna do that red area first. So you can see once you pull it out with the color, it's more of like a bright pink, reddish pink. Okay, so then we're gonna let that dry. Got my towel while we do the next color. Next, I'm going to do Newton. And if you um, have been following us for a while, you'll know that our company, Newton's Nook Designs, was named after our kitty Newton. Um, our kitty Newton is no longer with us, but we had him when we started the business, and he was a very special kitty. Um, and he was an orange tabby, so a lot of times I will color our Newton image is orange. We do have two new kitties now. We have Toulouse and Marlo, and they are about two years old and full of trouble, but I still like to color Newton. And Newton is still our logo, and he's the namesake of our company. And when the, he was the original inspiration for our kitty stamps, so we still like to use orange on our kitties. This one is actually called light brown. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but I think it's more of an orangey brown. So again, I'm coloring, putting the color where I feel like the darkest areas would be. And then I just use the water to pull it in. And the leg that's in the background would be darker than the leg that's in the foreground. So it has more color on that one. Add 
a little bit more into this area and I forgot to put any on the tail. So there is a quickly colored watercolor kitty. We still have to do his ears and nose. And I usually like to do those in pink. So I'm going to get out, this one is light carmine. I'm going to do that on his nose and ears. A little bit of water to that. Okay, so now we have yellow left. And I left this I try not to do colors right next to red right away because sometimes it will bleed. But I think we've let it dry long enough that we shouldn't be worried now. Do the tags. And we're going to do the yellow on his chest as well. So there's that. Add some more water in there. some water onto the kite. So if you wanted this to be brighter, you could add more color with the marker. Oopsie, I got a little bit of pink there, but it's all good. Like I said, watercolor is fun because it's supposed to be messy. And I want to add some pink cheeks, but I don't want them to be really uh, dark. So I'm going to scribble a little bit on the mat there so I can pick up a light and give just a little pink to the cheeks. There. Cute. Okay, so he's colored. So I'm going to cut that out. Here you can see a closer of him. I'm going to cut that out using the coordinating die. And we will, you can see that matches exactly right over the kitty. And I will be right back with that. Okay, here we are. He's all cut out. And you can see the die even cuts out that little piece. Between. So if you're making a scene, you have the background. All right, next we're going to make that fun background. So we'll just clean up our area here. Make sure we don't have any extra water. And we're going to set the kitty aside for a minute. Okay, next we're going to use... This is a scalloped panel that I cut out using our Frames and Flags die set. And then I'm going to use a combination of stencils. This is our clouds stencil and our hills and grass stencil. So I'm going to use those to make the scene. So let's start by doing the sky, I think. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it this way even though, well, it doesn't really matter. Um, so this is going to be the top of the card. So technically it's upside down right now. And I'm just going to actually, instead of taping the stencil on there, I'm just going to do this so that my card doesn't move around too much while I'm working like that. There's oh. a little bit of dampness on the table yet. Okay. So then we're going to take our ink and slowly start from the stencil and go off the edge to just create a little bit of cloud edge. You don't have to put much pressure here. The stencil's doing all the work for you. And then you can either move this over or you can rotate it and use the other side to do another layer of clouds. Like so. Now, if you want it darker, you can push a little harder, but you don't need to push very hard at all. And let's do one more. Let's rotate it again and use the other side. Now, just make sure don't, if you flipped it over this way, you could get that ink on your card. So just be careful not to do that. Or if you're going to do that, then make sure you wash the stencil first and dry it. 
You definitely can do that, but just be careful not to mess up your card. All right, and then I'm going to go a little further down because this is going to meet up with our hill. All right, I think that looks pretty good. So that's our sky. And then we'll do the hill along the bottom. So again, I'm still working upside down. Um, but you can do it however you like. And I'm going to just do that whole bottom with the lighter green. I'm using Twisted Citron. So this is going to create a nice edge for our scene. This is kind of a nice bright limey green. It must be a bright sunny day. This grass is looking nice and bright lime green. Okay, so that's our hill. And then I'm going to take the other side of this, like that, and do the grass. And this is mowed lawn. <laughs> that works perfectly for grass. And again, just starting here and working your way out. With the grass is a little bit delicate, so you want, don't want to like scrub this way and bend those grass spikes because you won't be able to use the stencil lots of times. But if you're delicate and just kind of do a light circular motion starting from the middle of the stencil outward, you'll get lots of use out of your stencil without bending the grass. And look how cool that looks. Now we'll turn it right side up so you can see. That is a fun background. So that is what we got there. And then we'll bring that Newton back. Okay, next we're going to add Newton back into the scene. And before I glue him down, I'm gonna figure out where my sentiment goes. So we're gonna set him there. And then we're gonna put our sentiment, I think here, but I'm going to do the birthday wishes on this one, and that's the biggest part, so we'll put that one down, figure out where it's going to go. So I think the soaring by needs to go about there, right at the edge of the bottom cloud. And I'm going to use VersaFine ink for my sentiment. That's my favorite ink for stamping sentiments. So we've got Soaring By, and then our little width, and then I'll swap that out and put the birthday wishes for me. Now all we have to do is assemble it all. So we will, I'm going to use some thick tape to pop Newton up a bit. Like so. And then simply adhere him to my card base. And I chose yellow to kind of match with his kite. I'm going to just glue that on. Like so. And there you have a quick and easy inked scene for Newton and his kite. 
that is all you need to do. I hope you enjoyed this um, video today. If you like scene building, make sure you check out on our website, newtonsnookdesigns.com, our scene building category, and you'll find all of our stencils that work great for building scenes, and we have some dyes in there as well, so some really fun products for building scenes. And the Newton's Kite stamp set is part of our June release, and you will find that under New, or you can look under Newton. Um, thank you for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed this, and please like and subscribe, and follow us on Instagram and YouTube for more inspiration. Thank you.